Delta State, Nigeria is our destination. Ogara, to be precise, in search of Agogo, who sent in this picture of some of his airplane. It's a quiet town and the area presents not the faintest inkling of a creative hub. Eventually, we are able to locate the residents of Agogo. He shows us to his storehouse, which doubles as his workshop. And then he introduces us to some of his works. This is, uh, I call it little crystal. <laughs> and it's, it's little indeed. It's, it, it was my first, my very first uh, flyable aircraft. Having seen the aircraft, he made my interest even more kindled. And I'm now curious to see him fly at least two of them. But before the display proper, Agogo, who is the first child in a family of eight, as I got to know, gives us an insight into his background and personality. I build and fly aircraft. Uh, I've not been to any school. As a matter of fact, I, I do my research at home. To get to his current level, Agogo have had to suffer lots of setbacks, but his passion kept urging him on. Time for some test flight. Agogo takes it step by step, coupling the parts just to ensure the aircraft were in the right frame for flight. I need to charge the inbuilt battery that will power the, the electronics here. You know. So while that is going on, I will need to fuel it. This engine uses a special fuel. Although it's a locally made fuel, I have to prepare that myself. See my filling station? All right. Right of the green, cleared for takeoff. Let's go. Agogo, who has become a ray of hope to other people in the community, shares with us the future of the project. Sometimes I do attach cameras to my planes you know, for surveillance purposes. Like I have the whole of this area, the shot of this area, you know, in my camera, you know, just taking the shot around, fly it low, slow, high, just to get shot. According to Albert Hubbard, the world is going so fast these days, but the one who says it cannot be done is generally interrupted by someone doing it. As it stands, Agogo has not had any form of sponsorship in an era where those who have taken to militancy in the region have enjoyed some form of compensation at one point or the other. But here is the young man who have decided to fly high the nation's pride being driven to frustration, if not for his passion which has brought him this far. There is no better time for us as a country to begin to look inwards and harness our creative and intellectual resources everywhere. Chris Elams, Channels Television News.